everybody. I am going to be showing you how I make my giblet gravy. So y'all know how I make my broth. My broth is already made. It's already flavorful. It's already really flavorful. So what I'm gonna do now at this point is to go ahead and add some eggs. These are two boiled eggs. I just boiled them, cut them up. I like to put boiled eggs in mine. So put eggs in it. And carnation milk. And it just kind of depends on how much gravy you want. That kind of determine how much milk you put in it. I'm gonna put pretty much the rest of this can. I had a little over half a can. So I'm gonna put the rest of that in here. And let that continue to heat up and come to a boil again. You see how the color is turning a little white, milky, like a gravy kind of? And as you um, add the milk, you can go ahead and taste it to make sure the flavors are still like you like it. Okay, now that I have brought the milk and the broth up to a boil, and I did taste the seasoning and it still tastes like I like it, I've reduced my heat and y'all when y'all do this be careful because the top will look like it's not boiling but it is, it'll be sticking and scalding at the bottom so be careful with that but anyway so I'm going to reduce my heat down lower and I have here cornstarch this is the thickener I'm sorry, I think I was all in the camera. Y'all couldn't even see me pouring it. But it's just cornstarch. And you're going to gently stir this with the heat on low. And it'll eventually thicken up. Okay, this, this is the gravy. Now, if y'all want y'all's gravy to be a little bit thicker, just add a little bit more um, cornstarch and let it gently cook. And the key to your cornstarch actually getting thicker, you know, without using too much cornstarch, is using extra cold water. Mix your cornstarch with extra cold water and you only need a couple of drops of water. You don't want because what you're looking for is to make a paste. It's gonna be in the paste, and then you're gonna add your paste to your liquid. So that's it.